At this moment in my life, I would actually be very happy to just stop. I've had enough. I've been riding storms and being silly, and I have terrified myself for years. I don't know why I did it, but I couldn't not do it. Well, I've never lived on fucking land in my life, and I'm not sure that I want to try. I wanted to be free. I wanted to be let loose. I wanted out. I wanted freedom, and I didn't want to be around people particularly anymore. I just didn't want to belong to anybody else except myself.
I've spent a lot of my life on remote islands where there are no people, but just animals. When I was maybe 10 years old, I had my own dinghy, but I used to go up the river beyond where everybody was. After a while, all of the strange animals that lived there, they get used to you, and then they just they aren't scared anymore and they'd, they'd come to hang out with you. The boat I was born on was called Escape. My mother died on the boat, and so did my father's. My sister and I were twins. I really don't remember my sister very well. She was very young when she died. And my parents wouldn't talk about it. My parents were honestly really upset. When I arrived and tied up alongside their boat from Shetland, it took a while and my father said, Have you, are you just on holiday? And I said, no, no, I'm, I've quit. And he said, Paul, you have one of the best jobs in the world. You're running a military place. Why did you quit? Because I said, I want to go sailing. And he couldn't understand.
Johnson. 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 How are you, my dear? <laughs> what is this? What's up? Everything good? I don't know. How can you tell at this what, What's wrong with you this morning? Nothing. This is my time. No idea? Have you had breakfast? No. no. Well, I did have a couple of beers. Oh. <laughs> First thing in the morning? Well, for breakfast, a hydraulic breakfast to wake up. Oh. Yeah, no. You're having too much of beers. It's all the hair's white. I know, it's, I'm going white. I'm getting old. You're getting old. <laughs> you know, Johnson had many wives, yeah? No. Yeah. Is he? I know he likes young girls. That's all I know. Yeah, for sure. He loves liquor and women. I mostly stay as ripped as possible. I used to smoke a lot of weed. You're supposed to have fun. Life is supposed to be a kind of a, a joke. I made a decision back in the 60s. I live just below the poverty level, and I'm happy there. I have actually made a, a lot of money in my life. One time I had a half a million dollars. I became a boat builder because it seemed to me that I didn't have to do anything except sell plans, and they were famous because I'd invented a new system of building. If someone wants to build one of my boats, they have to pay me a thousand US dollars. But now with the internet, the people can get my plans off the fucking internet and they don't have to pay me anything. I've got a few thousand dollars in the bank at the moment. I didn't think I was going to live this bloody long. All right, here we go. Hurricane season starts at midnight, and there's already a warning to be ready, to be prepared. Uh, hurricanes, the forecast is to be again maybe slightly above average and then major hurricanes within that average zone. And right on cue, we're getting another early taste of what the season activity might look like. We have a tropical disturbance that the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on that could develop over the next several days. In fact, about a 20% chance of further development here as we go through the next two days, looking ahead about a 30% chance of further development over the next five days. The Atlantic, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, very much awake at this point. I'm getting to the age, truly, where I can't really get up at 
two o'clock in the morning and start the engine and get the fucking anchor up and make a move. I need my motor. I never used to use it. I always sailed everywhere. It normally is splendid. I run it once a week. I turn it on and it goes boom. And I really don't know what's wrong with it. I thought it was okay. Hey, good morning, Johnson. Is it morning? Good morning, mate. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what time it is, though, but it feels like morning. So how is your engine? My engine is... So something happened. So then you definitely need your engine, then? Unless you're going to stand by every time I have to go to the swamp. I think I do need the engine, yeah. OK. Well, I will come by you and do the engine for you. Good, that would be really good. That would make you a happy man, and that would make me happy. <laughs> and I don't have to come and pull you every time. No, well, that would be good, yeah, because that's a bit of a... So where you want to go when you have the engine? I don't know. How are you, Dad? Not too bad. How about you? Could I steal a cigarette from you? Sure. Well, how about your boat? Is it working? Does it have an engine in it? The boat, the boat I can handle. I've known it. You know, I've created the boat. I designed it. And I know every inch of it. You know, my boat needs about two weeks' work, and it'll be ready to cross an ocean. That's the ocean. Where but are you going? Well, I don't know. I thought I might go back to Africa or something like that, but um, mostly I'm much happier here than I would be in Africa, so I'm, you know, I've done an awful lot. You know, I've sailed over 200,000 miles, and I've, I've spent my life going through gales and storms at sea. 
So that means they're not going anyway from here. I don't know. I haven't yet decided. I've been very sort of... I've had a few accidents since I've been here, and I'm not... I've lost a lot of weight, and... Um, you think you can sail that boat by yourself again? I spent seven years living on a tiny boat, thinking. Trying to understand what the fuck was happening in this world, because I realized the place was a crazy house. I eventually sailed across the Atlantic. I really didn't know that I had the courage to do it, so I never told anybody, and I slipped away in the night. It was pretty scary. And then suddenly I rounded the bottom end of Martinique. And the smell, the smell of the jungle was it nearly killed me. It was so beautiful. After 40 days alone in the middle of the fucking ocean. I was so glad to get out of Europe and all of the communists and the fucking fascists and all of the lunatics and and to get, you know, phew. A breath of fresh air. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sir. I'm... <laughs> You're getting wetter by the minute. Look, here's some more water for you. I thank you very oh. much, Andy. Sure. Let me see. You can mix this with your vodka. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. You mix it with vodka very nicely, this stuff. Yeah. Andrew, why is everyone going into the mangroves? Well, they aren't. Only some are. Is it? Are we going to get anything that uh, matters? There is a possibility that Dominica will get hit by a storm. It's been downgraded to a storm yeah. from Oregon. Now, okay. we're not panicable, bro. We just drink the vodka and forget about it all. <laughs> we really carry on the problem. <laughs> Johnson, I got to love I you and leave you. Do. Thank you very much.
I can't see why I should honestly stop drinking. Well, I don't drink more than usually half a bottle of rub a day or something. I mean, it's not excessive. But if I'm doing nothing, I find it very relaxing to have a few drinks and let the world go by. In the 60s, we lived on a crazy island in the West Indies where everyone was really out of control. There were very wealthy girls married to extraordinarily wealthy Americans. They wanted to have crazy children, so they'd come and make babies with you. And what am I gonna say? I have probably quite a lot of children in America. I know this sounds terrible. I was only young then. But at the time, it didn't really seem terrible. I wake up some mornings and I just cry for an hour because I really miss my children. Everything is a mess. It's just that I'm really not used to living alone. I'm used to having a woman in my life. It is so nice to spend months on the ocean with a beautiful woman. I have loved all of the women that I've lived with. I have loved them desperately. I don't blame them making a run for it. Most of them, it's been about 10 years, and instead of roaring around oceans in terrible storms, they want to go and be sensible, and I don't blame them. And I wish I could go with them, but this is where I live. Good, but I'm thinking about becoming very bad. Long time no see. It has been too long. Mm. Too long. Stop no see. Not you though. <laughs> um, what's he drinking? I'll not, I'll have a stag. The first time I came to carry a coup, you'll be right. My wife had got off with a drug dealer, and I, she left me with a two-year-old child. Two of us came cruising down to the Caribbean, and that's when I first came to carry a coup. Andrew, are you well, wonderfully sir. well? 
Yes, yeah, yeah. Finding um, solace in hurricanes. Do you remember 20 oh, years ago? So no, hurricanes. Hang on a minute. Happening. No, yeah. But I don't want to know about hurricanes. I hate the bloody things. What? Hairy canes. No, I don't want them. You know, you relax for five minutes and think, Phew. It's okay, and then suddenly they say, oh, well, don't panic, there's another one coming right to you, and you think, come on. But I think, actually, of all the places in the world that I would like to be in a hurricane, it's, I mean, yeah, it's here. That's why we're here. Do you still paint? Yeah, yeah, I still paint. Yeah, well, I don't really... I you should. I should. You're getting lazy. I know, I know. Just want to say good morning to you as you're keeping it locked to Vibes FM. It's yours truly, Kim the King. So glad to be in your company this morning as we're taking you through the morning segments which we call Vibes Drive. We just got an urgent report from the weather team that says a tropical storm located just about 200 miles east of Grenada, moving westly about 15 miles per hour at this time. Now, this motion is expected to continue within the next 24 to 48 hours and is packing wind speeds of 65 miles per hour and rising. Maria might become a hurricane overnight and as it continues to move towards our side. But don't worry, I'll keep you frequently updated. Johnson, am I wrong? Gosh. What are you doing to this weather? Well, to tell you the truth, things ain't looking right. And um, I, I had a feeling of that. And you know, it's supposed to rain like buggery on Monday. It's going to be wet on Monday. It's going to be wet tomorrow Sunday. And it's going to start blowing a hoolie tomorrow afternoon. And Monday is going to be pretty rough in the bay. So I come to check you out. Well, that's a terrible. How could you? It's my bloody birthday on Monday. You can't have it raining all day. But the thing is. Well, just talk to the gods. What do you want to do? We want to do the engine? Or we take the boat into the mangrove before the engine? Well, it seems to me that we probably want to take the boat into the mangroves. Yeah. Seeing as everybody else is there, it'd be nice to have a place instead of anchoring outside. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Because staying out there and it's get really, really rough, you don't want to end up on the beach. No, I've ended up on too many beaches already. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Push, go in today? Yeah, I think the best option is going today. Whenever I felt like it, I would just sail out of here under full sail just to scare the fuck out of everybody. And I'd go out and go fishing. And I was coming in on a Sunday evening just before dark and I was rounding up to come into the harbour here. And I was sitting in the hatch, no problems. And I'm pulling like fuck to get the mainsail in so I can round up. And the, the block broke. That thing hit me so hard it knocked me totally unconscious. And I woke up the next day I didn't know where I was. And then I realized that I hit a reef, went over the top, ripped the bottom out of the boat. I pumped for 24 hours without stopping to keep the water down. And then it was too much. So I ran this up the beach. That was the last time I've sailed alone.
Hang on a minute. If you could, I wouldn't put it through there actually. I just put it over the rail and tie it onto it whatever you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that must have worked in a half. steering. Woo. I actually have a home, apparently. After I did my first crazy trip, I just made an only Shetland Islander and So when people ask me where I come from, I say Shetland. The only place I haven't been so out of it. How many times have you crossed? Oh, I think it's 39, but it might be 40 by now. I've forgotten to keep counting. All right, Johnson. If you have a clear passage, let me know.
beautiful sunny morning to everyone. This is Kim the King from Vimes FM. Most current weather reports from Grenada and its dependencies. Maria regained its strength overnight, as it was expected, and became Hurricane Category 2, with backing wind speeds of 100 miles per hour and still increasing. Its motion is northwest at speeds of 12 miles per hour, currently located 120 miles east of the islands of Dominica. Maria is expected to become a major hurricane, Category 5. The center is projected to move across the Wood Islands. Hurricane warnings are already in effect for Martinique, Dominica, and Guadeloupe, and its dependencies. The motion of Maria continues northwest. She is not expected to change its course, so we just might be out of immediate danger and return to our everyday lives. Let's pray for our brothers and sisters in Leeward Islands to stay unharmed. In other news, from our small islands of Karakul, from Tile Bay, where a new modern supermarket is being built and opening soon. In the 60s, I had lived on a, a remote island that no one ever went to. I lived on St. Bart's. Now it's the most famous multi-millionaire everybody. At that time, nobody ever went there. It was abandoned. So I lived there and built boats. Nobody was doing what I was doing. So I was kind of famous. A lot of people say that I pioneered the small boat sailing in the world, but I don't think I did. But I certainly was one of the first people to actually live on a, a tiny boat. And when I did this huge, long voyages in a, a tiny dinghy, that changed everything. The first time I crossed the Atlantic, there were five boats that crossed the ocean that year. The last time, there were 5,000 boats on a rally set up by some damn fool English person. I have been in huge storms in a tiny boat. That's why I created these boats, because they ride storms. They've been very good at it. I have driven these boats 200 miles a day. Storms, I've had the sails frozen up. I can take this boat of mine down to North Africa in five days. There's not another boat ever be the side that can do what these boats do. This is so bad. And then the anode zone there, it's gone. The aluminum don't like that. The bronze without anodes. Do you know, when I do anything like this or try to, I always do a bloody drawing of the thing, because I'll never remember how to put it back. Yeah. Engines are something that, they're like um, aliens. They're something out of another world. Engines <laughs> like aliens. <laughs> Yeah, this is all dead.
think I have to cut that piece of food. Okay. Now, oh, let's see. Too many different metals alongside each other. What's that? There's all that. All, all that's dead. Eh? Hmm? All that dead. You see? Yeah, yeah. So we get a choice. Either marine decks, cut those, or else cut those, take that out, weld that up. Let me take it by Dominic and see what he can do with it. Mm -hmm. If he said he cannot, he cannot well, then we have to go for marine decks. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It would really upset me if I thought I'd been selfish. I can't imagine any reason to be selfish. Maybe I have been. You don't really know. Maybe I have been a dreadful person. I don't think he, she's gonna go nowhere. She's here to stay. She's in prison now. <laughs> <laughs> she's in chain. <laughs> yeah. Nice. 
Okay. Paul Johnson, you're back home. What? You're back home. Well, I'm not sure. In the next five days, we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you very much. them the Mickey. Yeah. Your sunglasses. Um, the pool probably somewhere. I would say roughly over there. Her name was Diana. I lived with her for nine months, wallowing around in my mother's tummy. And so she's part of me. I still dream about her. Twins are sort of, they're glued together. She was only tiny when she died. I grew up through a war. The Germans bombed the school. And that she disappeared before I even really got to know her. If my sister hadn't died, I wouldn't be who I am. Of course I wouldn't. You're going to give me a big hug again, I hope. Oh, you need a hug. I need a hug. Would you like to give me a hug? Oh, thank you. I <laughs> 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 you feel so much. Johnson, Johnson, you're having a feeling Johnson, this morning. Johnson, you're having a moment. you wish to get married again? Johnson. Tuesday as a fierce Category 5 hurricane lashing out with winds of nearly 160 miles per hour. In a Facebook post, the nation's Prime Minister detailing the fury of the storm, writing, quote, so far the winds have swept away the roofs of almost every person I have spoken to or otherwise made contact with. The National Hurricane Center warning that the, quote, extremely dangerous storm could retain its strength as it moves towards the Virgin Islands Tuesday night. Millions in the region are still reeling from the destruction caused by Hurricane Irma earlier this month, which killed more than 80 people in the Caribbean and the U.S. mainland. This is Lagna. We are collecting relief for the hurricane victims in Dominica and the rest of the islands which were affected by Hurricane Irma. We are asking you to be compassionate with the victims and help us collect food, water, clothing, building materials, whatever you can. The victims of Hurricane are desperate and they need your support. And we should give as much as we can. Give generously because we never know when it will be our turn.
It is a good thing I pull the tank. It's going to be a shocking system. <laughs> they didn't pull now. Sounds like it's pulling already, man. What do you, what do you think, man? All right, I think that's enough fuel. Yes, Let's not, let me see if the vent, if it's coming through the vent longer first. Paul Johnson, morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm not going to tell you. You're not going to tell me why? I got some news for you. This really bad. And it cannot be welded. And I'm going to Dominica. Yep. And I don't have the time to fix it now. Mm -hmm. But I will see. If I find a part in Dominica, I will want to come back. I'll burn it. And if I cannot find one in Martinico, Dominica, I will have to do some, try to do something with that one. But for now, this is how it stopped. Mm -hmm. Then the engine cannot run from now. Don't try to run the engine. Okay. Okay? So. Well, I should be back in 10 days. And if we get another hurricane morning, I will be back. I'll be back for that. I was just wondering. Yeah. I'll be back. I'm not going to stay up. Okay. Trust me. I just um, let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. I said, do not let your heart be troubled. Oh, it is already. Well, <laughs> stop it. Don't. You will get organized, and I'll be here in case of anything. I'll be back. The only time I ain't going to be back is if I'm dead. Right. If I'm sick, I'll be back. If I'm dead, I can't come back. All right? So don't worry. Jungle, this well, it's big a, it's, piece of mess. It's, it shouldn't be there. Yeah, I think something like more wooden will be much better. Yeah. Oh, did you saw what it did to my roads? I do. And the waste and all that crap? Well, I can't even get there anymore without. Yeah, yeah. You know, because, you know, I don't well, wear you shoes. Well, you don't wear shoes, so.
a new documentary each week on 52 Documentary VOA Plus. Scan the QR code and watch it on your phone or smart TV.